Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is John. Today, we're going to be talking about the market crash, and we're going to give you an FC Pro update. Also, if you don't know, I now have glasses, guys, so check these bad boys out. Not too shabby. Apparently, my eyesight's really that bad, so I, I had to get glasses. Uh, so, we joined in. We're rocked in. Right now, guys, Simicon's trading around 32,000. Uh, if you guys were in the premium Discord, we did make the call at about 34, 35 just to get out of it uh, as we did not see any movement and momentum up. So, uh, that was kind of the call today. I apologize. I wasn't able to be live during this uh, just because I'm doing some other projects on the side with some brands, so apologies. But... Uh, good news is uh, we are going to have a market crash soon. Is that good news? I don't know. But that's what the, the rest of the focus is going to be. It, when to sell this card, guys, here's the thing. You got two options. You can either hold it for the long run. It should go up. Uh, depending on the play styles, does it get anticipate? If it gets anticipate, well, you should be doing okay. You should really be doing okay. If it gets anticipate, uh, the, this card should be actually pretty solid. Uh, if it does not get anticipate and it does not get anything meta... Um, you may want to sell out of it the second that comes out. I would just wait for the play styles if you're here now. I just don't see this going underneath 30k after winning. Every <laughs> it got all 10 points. It's going to get another upgrade. So it's going to go from an 84 to an 86. And then from an 86, he'll qualify. So he'll get an 87 at some point, plus the play styles. The only thing is, will it go up to 88, 89? I don't think so. If this card was uh, originally like an 85, 86, uh, you might have seen it. There's too much supply right now. There's too much supply, too much supply, too much to supply. On the other side of that, guys, we have new uh, UEFA marquee matchups that came out as well. Um, what I want to talk about, though, is the real market crash. So when are the biggest market crashes? They're usually, it's Black Friday. And then it's uh, the holiday season with Team of the Year. I kind of consider them a little bit, cl they're pretty close. So it's kind of just stays flat uh, after this next week. So you're about four. After this weekend, guys, I would expect the market to come down. Yeah, it's 11. So uh, expect it to pull down after this weekend. I would be, I would strongly suggest being untradeable. Um, going into just for like up until like, the day before Christmas or something, you're just going to see it come down. And when, oh no, but trust me, 25% value. If you have a 2 million coin card like this, a Mbappe or R9, whatever you have, uh, you're going to see 25% less here in a week. And so part of being a really good trader and having more coins later on is being able to be able to avoid the stress and sell out and have some nice and untradeable. That being said, uh, this is a great opportunity uh, to go with like a uh, Zidane and get those uh, SBCs done. But here's what happens. So with this crash, what you're seeing is this is from last season. This is uh, November, right? This is where we're at like right now. So this is where we're at right now. We're kind of floating steady. And then this is what it looks like all the way until like Christmas Day. So, you know, it's really can you hold like until this weekend, guys, you can kind of, you know, what I mean, it's like that's from a million coins down to like 700. So that's like 30% drop. So a 30% drop. Who knows, you know, 2.3 mil, 30% off of that, uh, 0.7 times uh, 3 mil. I know you guys can't see that, but it goes down to 2.1. So that's 200,000. Uh, that's, that feels oddly, that feels like oddly, that does not feel correct. But that's, uh, or wait, yeah, yeah, that's not, that is not correct. 2.3 2 times 0.7. Uh, there we go. 1.6. Yeah, that, that's uh, that's more. That's more. Uh, 200k. That didn't seem right. Um, just because the glasses doesn't mean I'm smarter. Anyways, um, here we go. We got 2.3. It could go down to like two mil. Um, pretty fair. I would say two mil is gonna. It's gonna hold probably some value at two two mil, and then maybe pull down from there. So if you guys are holding on to the Mbappe, this is now you can kind of start seeing the trend is already coming down. So I would strongly suggest get out um, of stuff like this and get into something else now the the thing about it is all these fc pro cards guys as you guys know i skipped the simicon trade um one because it's 32,000. it was like 34k uh two is over invested because uh because of the valuation um and three i wanted something that felt safer and that felt a little bit deep more decent and that was phillips now the thing about phillips though is it's 160,000 coins for an 86. Now, he's got the great links and all of this. He's lacking that stamina 
And so I don't know if I have the same, I don't know if I have that confidence in this card. Now, if we were given like the, if we were given, not necessarily Kola Moani, if we were given some, if this card had like a five-star Weefa and eight, if this had 88 stamina even, I would have a completely different feel about this. And if this had like an insane, I mean, it's got decent play styles. Um, I would feel, I would feel indifferently about it. Uh, the only thing is, uh, seeing what happened to Anders today, uh, just oversaturation investors and the overhype on that market felt really very, very strange. I haven't really followed the rest, but Deli Ali played today and he has gone down from 90k. Um, I don't know if, uh, if these guys won their matches or not. Cool Bali played and I think he won a couple matches. And yeah, he's been staying relatively flat. This is the only one I've seen in halfway green. Um, what's happened, I believe, is the market, the 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 money in the game, uh, or the where the coin supply is, is kind of super spread out because people were in Thunderstrucks, people were in uh, FC Pros for the first week, the second week, the third week, the fourth week. That's five different teams of essential upgrade or upgradable timing. And then you have the US UCL Champions League matches. You had a ton, and I believe we're getting uh we'll probably get we're gonna probably get more upgrade upgrade cards as well. So you're getting a plethora of 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 upgradable cards. Usually that's where people buy it early and then they just sell in the hype, and it's very static, it's very simple. Um, but that's kind of what we're seeing. That is kind of the update on, uh, on, you know, the new content. We had the 78 plus player pick and the 85 double upgrade. As you can see, all three of these are trending right now. It looks like Simicon. They're showing 30 K. I just, here's the thing is this card won all of its val valuation. So whatever you see the price of this card in the next 24 hours, it's probably going to be the cheapest it will be, uh, and maybe 48 hours. You may have some late people sell and they just keep it down because they see the valuation of the card. But for the most part, guys, uh, these are the main things going forward for the next couple of days. Um, be untradeable. Uh, look into next investments. If we want to talk about fodder, guys, if you guys are brand new to this channel, make sure you guys like, follow, subscribe, all that stuff. But uh, like I said, guys, uh, the the fodder was a hold today, and you were you were pushing, pushing, pushing. You're right up to the, the highest point fodder's ever been at around 40,000 coins. Uh, 90 rated fodder's pushing. Uh, looking at this inform 85, 90 rated Ada Hegerberg at at fodder value. That's not like that makes sense if you're going to buy 90 ray of fodder buy the uh hegerberg so just buy her because she's an inform right now informs are relatively up as well so uh, fodder's uh, looks like it's going to be decent uh right now 86s are relatively low if you're looking to push put your coin somewhere you could throw it into 86s at 11k this is the cheapest they've been since november 24th and like mid or mid october there so uh, the, the main thing is this is not a bad place to throw it in, uh, and then just get a steady fluctuation trade up to like 12, 13 K on lazy and just keep relisting that. If you guys don't know what to do right now and you guys don't want to go in FC pro, that's kind of the move. But remember guys, keep up to date with John's daily calls. Keep up to date with our Sims training videos. Keep up to date with all of our content. We will be going live more frequently, uh, or not. Uh, we will be going back live. However, we're going to start trying to do something different. So I will, I'm going to be corresponding a schedule, which I'm going to try to do my best to be a part of. And if I don't go live, I'll mention it um, on Discord and on uh, TikTok. So if you guys don't follow me on TikTok, it just, it's just easier to hit that following. Uh, YouTube is a little bit harder for me to, to hit everybody to say I'm not going live. is sometimes challenging because there's like five, er six, seven areas where... I have to go and spot and then I forget one. So apologies if you guys have, have been wanting me to be live. Um, but until next time, guys, that's today's video. Watch out for a market crash coming up. Be tradable and then get your coins in somewhere else while stuff is low. And let's let's get ready to rock.